All right, let's talk a little bit about what it takes to be successful on eBay. Uh, and uh, I want to dispel some myths uh, here as we do this and then just to give you a short little uh, intro to, to some of the most important things. So um, the first myth is uh, many people think that it's about what you sell, and uh, it isn't. I've proven that over and over and over again. It doesn't matter what you sell. Uh, it's more about how you sell it um, than, uh, than it is what you sell. And uh, you can find many different things that sell. I mean, for example, here's a, a shot put. And uh, this uh, seller has sold 230 uh, such items, uh, just this one item. Right? Look at how many times they've sold that over and over. So just this one item, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, in July. We're uh, toward the end of July here. Uh, still have, a, what, another week uh, to go. Uh, and uh, in June, they sold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of uh, that one item. Right? And uh, they have more than just this one item. Now, if we come over and look at the seller information, this is one way you can do some research uh, on eBay, which is a good thing to do to give you a little idea. And this should help boost your confidence and recognize that it's not about the product. You can find any product. Go out and just do a search on eBay up here at the top for any product and click on one of the products and then look at the uh, uh, the sellers, now if you find a seller that has high feedback, uh, I would say more than 3,000, uh, sometimes you'll have uh, pretty uh, active sellers with a, less than that. But the higher it is, most likely the more they've got for sale, or the longer they've been on eBay. So if we come in and click Visit Store, we can see all that they have for sale. But that store is only going to show us their store view. Okay, There's a little different way that we can go about this. Rather than clicking on the store, Let's go to this username and click on their username. And then in here, they have this section down here, items for sale, and we can click on see all items. The reason we want to do that instead of the store is if we click on see all items here, then we're seeing a, a, a listing view that's basically just like doing a search, except it's only searching this seller. And so we're seeing their items. So this is the first clue, what it takes to sell on eBay. A lot of listings. If you want to be successful on eBay, then you need to sell a lot of products. We've got to get a lot up there. So these guys have over 3,000, almost 4,000 products listed. Now, here's the next thing I want you to do to, to check out how successful they are. As we come down here on the left-hand side under all these checkboxes to refine our search, and we're going to look under the Show Only heading and click Sold Listings. Now, we're still looking at just this seller. Okay, but now we're looking at items that they've sold. So they've got almost 4,000 items listed, and they've got 444 results sold. Now this is showing you within the last 90 days. So within a three-month period, they've sold better than 10% of their inventory. And they've got all kinds of different things here and all kinds of different prices. This is a great example uh, uh, seller because we can see a basketball here that sold for less than it would cost us to ship it. We're not going to mess with that. Uh, and then we've got this $400 uh, barbell uh, competition bench set, uh, which very likely could have been drop shipped by some other company. And then many other products that they have here. Now, it does look like they have kind of a, a niche focused on um, track and field, sports and fitness uh, type products. Nothing wrong with that. But you could take every single one of these products and go out and find it selling for all kinds of different prices. In fact, why don't we do that? If we look at this McGregor football, so we'll just copy that right there. We'll do a search for it on eBay. And uh, just generally eBay, there are 14 active results for that. Here's one right there for 645, probably our seller we were looking at. Oh, look at that. There's one for a couple dollars more. Here's one for almost 15 bucks, 14 dollars, 14 and a half bucks there. And so we've got price ranges all over the place. There's a, a 17 dollars and 23 cent uh, price there. Now we've got our general search here. If we come over here again and look, we can see that we do have different prices on sold items. So there's that $14.54. So 
So one sold for 1454 even though another sold for 645 and even one for $4 here. Okay? So don't be afraid to list a product even when you have to list it at a higher price. It's not about price. It's not about the product. And you can see that over and over and over. So more important is volume of listings. If you want to sell 100 items a month, then you better plan on having 1,000 items listed. Okay. Now, this can change depending on how you are listing items. If you're doing brand new items and you're sourcing them from somebody, especially if you're sourcing from somebody who's going to ship for you, then your profit margin is probably going to be a lot lower. These guys may only be making pennies on each of these listings that they're doing, but they're making up for it in volume, supposedly. right? Uh, when I do my sales, I sell items that are more of a surplus nature. I can buy them extremely cheap, and then I can not only compete on price, but also with my keywords and placement. And even then, I sell products that uh, are at ridiculous prices. In fact, let me give you just a quick look at this. So this is my uh, eBay um, page, and if we look at items that I've sold recently, so these items, uh, um, honestly, they, they cost me less than a dollar a piece, okay, uh, these shot puts, and I've sold those over and over. This item right here cost me about a buck. Uh, and so that's what surplus buying will do for you. You know, if you can mark up your, your um, price uh, um, even 10 times, uh, let alone 20 or 30 times, I mean, that's, it's huge, right? So the profits are great, but here's a great uh, example. This is an item that cost me about 10 cents a piece for these, and I sold two of them for 12 bucks. And out of this uh, listing, I've sold this twice so far. Okay. So just a, a great example, random item. It's an Allen key, a hex key for, for crying out loud. Uh, and uh, when you find a, a few items like that, it may take a while before that sells. I don't sell those every day, but every time I do sell them, I'm making as much money as it costs me to buy a hundred of them or a thousand of them. Okay, and so uh, it's huge profits. So there are different strategies, and if you want to succeed on eBay, it no matter what, if you want to make this a business, the first thing is you've got to plan on listing a lot of items. Now, I currently have um, just under 200 items listed with the surplus strategy, and I'm selling items every day, uh, making between 500 to 1,000 bucks a week. Uh, this company here has over 3,000 items listed. A lot more aggressive, right? They're, they may be doing this full time, um, likely have uh, employees that uh, are uh, doing the work for them and, and packaging and shipping things for them. Um, however you want to do it, the first thing is get volume listings. Get a lot of items up there. So you've got to decide where to start. Um, if you want to start with drop ship, plan on it taking several weeks, depending on how uh, how much you do each, uh, each day and getting products up there before you start seeing sales or your first sale. Uh, if you're willing to start with whatever you have, then uh, you might find things from around the house, from friends and neighbors, things they're getting rid of, go to thrift stores, um, look at estate sales and yard sales and stuff like that. And let's start where you can because those are great options. Don't, don't uh, put your nose up in the air about something like that to get you started. Let's start where we can, build it into something greater. Okay? So, what does it take to succeed on eBay? First thing, volume listings. That is one of the most important uh, aspects is you've got to plan on having a lot of listings up there. Don't expect that you're going to get sales just because you put one or two items up. Okay? The second thing that uh, I can talk about in a, in a full webinar uh, all by itself is the title. These guys are not doing the best title that they could. You want to fill up that title. You've got 80 characters. Use them all. Use all 80 characters and use valuable keywords. Don't use wasted words like look, must read, um, buy now. Don't, don't use those wasted words. Use words that relate to the product. Okay? So we want to find uh, keywords that uh, others are using that have sold similar products. So again, we can do a search for anything. 
So we could go in here and uh, let's do a search for outdoor furniture. And look at furniture sets. We've got 17,000 active listings. And if we scroll down here and look under the show only and sold items, we've got 2,500 that have sold. So not a huge sell-through rate overall, but that's kind of a general search too. If we narrow it down to something more specific, we'll see better um, numbers. But if you look down through this at those that have actually sold, you're going to see a very consistent pattern of long titles. Okay? These long titles, and look at the keywords too. These aren't wasted keywords. These are all keywords that people will use to try and find that product. Use the best keywords you can. If you're wondering what keywords to use and uh, how to build out your title, just do a search for two or three keywords like I've done here, and then look at sold listings, not just the, the listed items, but the sold items, and look at the keywords they're using for similar items. Does it fit with yours? If so, use it. So I hope that helps to get you excited about eBay and, and let you see uh, some of the, the beginning tips. It's not about what you sell. It's about how you sell it uh, and uh, the number of items that you get up there. That's what's going to help you build a business.